All right, here we go. Constitution study guide. So the opening passage of the Constitution is known as the preamble, and it describes the source of the government's authority in the famous first three words, which are we the people, right? We the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union. And this is important because it represented a revolutionary, brand new idea that the government gets its authority, its power from the people, from regular everyday citizens. Right. So um, we, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union. So it was the people that were living in the colonies and in the states, and they decided to write this constitution to make a better government. So remember, before they were using the Articles of Confederation, and now they are looking to write a new constitution. And they begin with the opening words, we, the people. And so... You know, if you go to page 204, they're going to list um, the goals and the purposes of the Constitution, right? So, one, to form a perfect union, two, establish justice, and they're all listed right there. So, the Constitution was ratified or approved in 1788. And so, if we do a little bit of math, we can figure out that that means the Constitution is about 250 years old. Not quite, but it's getting close. And we talked about this a few times, but the Constitution is the supreme law of the land, meaning it is above all other laws um, in the United States. It's above all state laws, anything like that. And so uh, what are enumerated powers? Those are powers that belong only to the federal or United States government. So those are only for the U.S. government. The opposite of that would be things that are called reserved powers powers that are retained or saved or kept by state government. So these are powers that California has or New York or Texas, so state governments. Right? And then in between that, um, we have what are called concurrent powers. So concurrent powers are powers that are shared by the state and federal government, so at the same time. So things like education. Education has federal and state um, powers that are working on that. So they work together. Um, and it, it helps if you know what those kind of words are in those powers. So, you know, concurrent means at the same time. So concurrent powers are things that happen at the same time. Um, reserved means like saved. Like you've reserved a table, you've saved it. And enumerated means like numbered or like listed. So those are really specific powers that belong only to the federal government. So things, okay, so the second page is on page 206, 207. So read about all those different ideas and summarize them in the table. So for example, popular sovereignty is the idea that the people are the ones that are in charge. Kind of like the king and queen would be sovereign, but it is the people in the United States. Limited government, separation of powers, checks and balances. We'll all talk about more of that as we go in the study guide. Um, federalism, republicanism, and individual rights. We will continue to take notes on.